My name is Mustafa Aziz. Uh, I'm the Senior Trade Commissioner of Malaysia. The Malaysian Future World Program is the Malaysian government initiative to promote Malaysian cuisines to the US market. We wish for Malaysian food and food products to catch on with New Yorkers and Americans at large and become the new Asian taste. What we want to achieve here is to educate and hope that with the presence of our cuisines in the US market, we could promote the country as a whole. When I came to the U.S., there's not a lot of Malaysian restaurants, so I decided why not bring back all the flavors from Malaysia to the American palate. Rendang means cooking for a long time. It takes about two, three hours of cooking them. So my inspiration for the dish was complete laziness. We use a little bit of liquid nitrogen to take a lot of these hard ingredients and make them really easy to turn into a paste. Instead of someone sitting there chopping it for 30 minutes, we're doing this in five minutes. My crew and I are applying the spices that are traditionally applied to the beef and or chicken or whatever protein you're going to cook in rendang style, and we smoke it. This is a pretty traditional rendang from what I remember growing up eating. On the right side, I just have a traditional beef rendang made with short ribs. The left side is a steak tartare made with filet of beef, chilies, a little coconut milk, top of a little peanut, and caper lime leaf. And it's a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter. The one thing about this rendang, we use quality ingredients and something that's artisanal, organic, and it has to be also very, very fresh. And that's the key to this dish. What's beautiful about clove is that it actually numbs your palate and it suppresses spice. So something that can be spicy, the clove, all spice suppress it so that the spice comes at the end. I think spices at a time were used to cover up bad food and now it's to really give us a big bang for our buck. People are looking for big flavors and less fat. The spice, that's the way to get there. The chef who wins the $5,000 from Malaysia Kitchen for their charity is... Angela Sosa. <laughs>